Hey, it's Christian with the Vegetation Engine. Today we will take a look at uh, the beautiful grass created by uh, Stegard Creations. How we can achieve something similar using uh, the Vegetation Engine and um, a color map. And uh, maybe later we will take a look at some tips and tricks when it comes to uh, grass rendering. So let's get started. So what makes this grass look stylized? Uh, first thing to note is that the shadows are disabled. If I go ahead and enable the shadows, you can clearly see the grass planes and the entire effect is ruined. I will just go ahead and disable it. The second thing to note is that the uh, texture is white with just a bit of detail added. The third thing, which is super, super important, is that the mesh normals are pointing up. And uh, this is important because this gives the mesh uh, this unlit feel. If I go to the flatten normals and disable it, you can see the mesh normals and uh, the entire effect is looking quite broken. So if I set it back to one, this will uh, make the mesh normals pointing up. And uh, Staggart allows you to uh, change these uh, spherical normals as well, which I don't like that much. So I just lower it a bit so the grass looks a bit more flat. And the last thing to note is that a color map is used uh, to blend the terrain with the grass. And... Uh, we can control it from uh, the color map strength. And as you can see, if disabled, uh, the, the stylized grass is not looking that nice anymore. So we'll just go ahead and set it back to one. Uh, we will use this color map renderer provided by uh, Stegart uh, to create a color map element uh, for the vegetation engine uh, once we convert this grass to the vegetation engine. Alright, let's see how we can achieve something similar using the vegetation engine. Uh, with the prefab selected, I will go ahead and open the prefab converter. And as you can see, uh, this preset is uh, automatically detected. In uh, version 4.4 there are more uh, assets that are automatically detected so you don't need to go and search for the preset anymore if if we go to the advanced settings you can see that the normals are set to flat shading uh, this is what uh, Staggart's uh, flat shading normals uh, is doing instead of uh, setting the normals uh, upwards from the shader in the vegetation engine, we do it uh, on conversion. So I will just go ahead and hit convert. And as you can see, the mesh is, the, the grass is looking pretty good, but we are not there yet. The element missing is the, the blending with the terrain. So to achieve this, I will create an element Set it to a color map element. And scale it to match the terrain size. Uh, I know that this terrain is 64 by 64. So I will just set it 64 by 64. And I need to move it to 32 and 32. All right. And uh, luckily, uh, Staggart created a color map element which renders the, the terrain to a texture. Uh, if you go and select the color map renderer, you will need to save this color map uh, so you can access the texture. So I will just go and save it, uh, let's say, to the assets. And now we have it here. We can access the texture from here. Uh, all right, in the color map element, I will just go ahead and set it to white and assign the color map texture. And 
you can already see that uh, the color map is affecting the grass. But we need to change the main color and the, the vertex occlusion color to match the grass better with the terrain. So I think I need to lower the color intensity for the main color and to set this to a brighter color, something like this. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, maybe the motion highlight is uh, a bit too much. I will lower it that as well. Just a bit. And maybe set the bending amplitude a bit higher and disable the flutter. And as you, as you can see, uh, the grass is looking quite similar to the uh, staggered grass. Let's look at some tips and tricks when it comes to grass rendering. Uh, first of all, you can control how much this color element is affecting the grass using the global colors. Uh, in the same way, you can use the global mask uh, to set how much the grass is affected by the color element on its height. If I set it to red, you can see that uh, only the, the top part is affected by the color, the bottom part is affected by uh, the element. And if I change the mask, you can control how much both of these uh, colors are used. And we just go ahead and undo this mask. If you want to make uh, this grass even more flat than this, you can set the vertex uh, color to white and change the main color uh, to blend the grass better with the terrain and uh, as you can see the grass is now uh, flat. If you are working uh, on a top-down game uh, you can make the grass uh, fluffier and you can hide uh, those ugly grass planes by using the perspective settings. Just play with these settings uh, until you get something uh, you like. And the last tip for today, uh, if you're using LOD groups uh, or another culling system, you can see the grass uh, popping on the ground. To hide this issue, you can use the size fade settings. Uh, you just need to uh, set the start and end distance and make sure the end distance is a bit lower than the distance uh, when the grass is disappearing. So in this case I will just set it to 20 and 30 and uh, instead of popping now the grass is uh, nicely uh, growing from the ground. That's it for today. Make sure to check out uh, Stegard Creations. They have some pretty amazing assets. Make sure to check out the Vegetation Engine if you didn't already. And uh, thanks for watching.